Hi guys, I'm here today outside the White Hart, just going in to uh, interview Danny Murphy about the guitar in the window and uh, the story, backstory of Mike Doby. So uh, see you guys in a bit. Let's go on to, to Mike Davey with the story, the back story there. With Mike, I do know Mike, I did, I did meet him. Uh, first time was he was playing at the Crawley FC ground. I lived just behind there. So I, I had a chat with him, really lovely fellows, and I went to see him at the uh, Hawley, Hawley the Tavern, playing live. And then I watched him online a few times as well during the lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so Mike, um, do you know, I only probably knew Mike for a year um, before he passed away. Um, but basically, he helped me with the very first Murfest. Um, now, uh, yeah, so he was such a kind guy, very fantastic, amazing, amazing chap. But he, I had my birthday and in a, in a restaurant and uh, he turned up out of the blue with his guitar and he played a set to the whole table and uh, just, I mean, I, I wasn't like a close friend or anything, but yeah. he, just, he just did it. It's yeah. such a kind thing to do. Yeah. And he turned this, this, this birthday into something much, you know, took it to another level. Yeah. Every, and everyone was singing yeah. and the whole, and you know, all the other tables, everyone came and yeah. joined in, oh, came yeah. around and it yeah. turned into They were well jealous. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was yeah. like, it's fantastic. Yeah. And um, funny enough, I, uh, I, I, for my birthday, somebody bought me a cajon. Yeah. And uh, so I ended up playing the cajon in yeah. the restaurant while sure. he was playing on the guitar. Yeah. And we had such a great time. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, well, I, I just got to know him from then, really, and then yeah. um, you know more from then. I, I, you know, so I've met him a few times before yeah. and mentioned about my my birthday, and then mentioned about Murfest, and he's like, absolutely, yeah. cancer research. You know, I because at the time it was just cancer research yeah. we were raising money for, yeah. um, and it was something close to his heart. So he was like, yeah, I'll I'll, I'll be there, Dan. I'll, I'll I'll come and do a set and, and help you out. And yeah, and he, he played, did a great set, and everyone loved it. And, yeah. um, and so, yeah, we, we kept in touch, and then of course we had the lockdown, um, and then unfortunately, uh, I uh, passed on the 22nd of April, and um, so and with the whole music community, everyone that knew him, have all wanted to do something to remember him by. And uh, actually, on the on the first Murfest, one of the, we had a, we had an auction which was for a table, so it was a river table, uh, and it was an amazing resin table that this uh, local master craftsman had made. Yeah. yeah. Um, a guy called Pete Setter, by the way. Yeah. Right, Pete. And uh, basically, he um, we auctioned the table. It, it was uh, somebody bought it um, for six hundred pounds. Yeah. And and then when the whole thing with Mike happened. Um, Pete said it was available to make another table for, for the charity to raise yeah. money. Yeah. So I had this idea to remember Mike by uh, taking a Rick and Becker guitar, yeah. um, which is uh, it's a copy of what Mike Doby uh, would play. Yeah. Obviously it's not his guitar. No. Um, and uh, actually making a table with that set in the table in resin. Yeah. And of course, because um, Mike was a, a, a mod, so we wanted to include in the table the mod symbol uh, and have it backlit and, um, and, and yeah, and just have an engraved guitar in memory of Mike Doby. Um, and then to have that uh, on auction for yeah. Murfest last year. Could it go on the wall as well? Or? Yeah, so the, the, 
it hasn't got legs at the moment. Yeah. So it's called a table because it's yeah. the because it could be a table. But yeah. everyone who's bidded on it so far yeah. don't want to use it as a table. Yeah. They actually want a wall mount here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is great. Um, but is it in resin though? It can't be used or taken out? It's there's absolutely it's no a, way can it be it's used. It's a piece it's of art. solid resin, it's yeah. It's clear part. resin right, that's, okay. that's actually sub, um, sort of suspended in. And then yeah. under, underneath that is a, a, a layer of coloured resins, which, yeah. uh, of course, you've got the blue, the white, yeah. and the red to make up the mod symbol. Yeah, we'll go and have a look at it yeah. and talk about how So, So, yeah, the, the, the charity um, is Help Musicians. And the website is helpmusicians.co.uk. Oh, sorry, helpmusicians.org.co.uk. Uh, right. Okay. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, it's a, a charity that that Pauline has has, uh, has done. So uh, yeah, that day is going to be to try and raise money for that.